All right, breaking news. Detroit Lions trade cornerback Jeff Okuda to the Atlanta Falcons for a fifth-round draft pick. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. What's so funny about it is I just fly. Fly in my car. Oh. But it's funny about it. I just had to do the video yesterday. Y'all seen it today. It basically damn near uploaded when the rumor got out that the Lions had traded Jeff Okuda. So that's the funny thing about it. Uh, rum rumors was running rampant about Jeff Okuda being on his way out of Detroit, and now he getting shipped off for in Atlanta uh, for, to Atlanta for a fifth round draft. It was so funny. Easy. The report says that some GM th thought that Jeff Okuda could have had a third round value. Easy, easy, uh, easy sports. He said over at Woodward. He said that uh, Brad Holmes would be approaching godly like level. I'm paraphrasing. If he would have got a third for Jeff Okuda, I'd have took a third. But we all knew that wasn't really the uh that wasn't gonna be the price level for Jeff Okuda. I think a fifth was about right. Um uh, he could have squeezed the fourth, but a fifth was about right. Um they was done with him. They seen enough of him. I didn't think his season was that bad until the head injury, but he needed a, few, a fresh start. You gotta remember they didn't draft him. Uh Quinn Trisha drafted him. It was it was talks about um Matt Patricia wanted uh the big fella, Derek Brown and Brad, Bob Quinn was the one that you know preferred Jeff Okuda, and when Jeff Okuda said Quintez Cephas was the best receiver he played in college football, I knew he wasn't it. I was, watched his film, you know, he wasn't Marshawn Lattimore, you know, he just wasn't. You could tell he just wasn't on that level of some of them other you know cornerbacks, and it was just stupid to draft a cornerback number four. But also, it probably would have been stupid to draft Derrick Brown number 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 three overall. It's stupid to draft Derrick Brown number three overall because he ain't no pass rusher. You know, and they should have took Justin Herbert, and that's who they should have took. But you know, you blame you blame Sheila Hemp Ford for that. That's who you blame for that. You blame Sheila Hemp Ford, and um, the reason you blame her for that situation is as simple as um, it's as simple as she was uh, she basically put, put them on notice that their job was on the line, so they felt. Like they need to get an impact player, but we all know corners don't have the majority of corners don't have immediate impact. They gotta learn as they go. You like I said, Marcus Peters and Marshawn Lattimore and what Sauce Gardner did this, this his rookie season. Those are anomalies as corners. Corners are usually good going into year three, four, and on. You know, year two could be a little bit shaky. It's been a whole bunch of cornerbacks that's been bust that's been drafted high in these drafts. It was a list I had of plenty of busts like D. Milliner and going on and on again they just not a position that's a val that's a true value i value the running back more than the cornerback because the cornerback you could throw away from them they can move around and just throw it to the other receiver and all the rules are going against the quarterback where you can't jam you can't jam down the other five yards you can't they taking you know less and less away from more and more away from them and you, you could be more physical in in college football down the field that you could be in professional football because they want to promote high scoring high scoring games which is not always meaning those are the, the most entertaining games but i mean like i continue to say um the fifth I, I could dig it um but uh you know he was he was picked to immediately come in and make an impact and he didn't and, and and you can look at this tape you don't know what, what they be what these people be saying they don't be knowing what they be talking about and not forget, a large uh, group of fans wanted Jeff Okuda in Detroit. Let's not forget that. A large amount of you guys wanted Jeff Okuda in Detroit. Y'all swear by Jeff Okuda, and then y'all turned on him. And y'all gonna act like, oh, uh, you know, y'all didn't want him. Y'all was, we was over here, we was on here, I was on here battling with y'all. I said, this shit don't make no sense. Are y'all stupid? We don't take a corner number three overall, bro. He better be the best corner there. He better be a Stingley, a Gardner, and Lattimore. You know what I'm saying? A Marcus Peters. He better be a Deion Sanders. And it was, you know, but when they job was on the line, that was the best they had to do. So, you know, it's just not one of the positions that's, a, that's of high value. Yeah, we, I played Madden and all that bullshit. Yeah, they very important on Madden. But in real football, teams have won Super Bowls like this past year without great cornerbacks. You know, if you got a great front end and a good back end or decent back end, you could be okay. You could be okay. So, 
Like I continue to say, man, you know, they gave him his audition. It wasn't good enough, and they're moving on. So, you know, you look at it. I think Chase Lucas still around, more of a special teams nickel type guy. I don't know if he's going to be ready to step in and take the nickel. Uh, Jerry Jacobs, Melifano plays safety. Now he can play corner. Um, Emmanuel Mosley coming off a knee injury. Uh, they didn't elect this fifth-year option, so I don't know if Atlanta had a right to decline or accept this fifth-year option. Um, uh, Cam Sutton. So more than likely, they're going to draft a corner, maybe at six, maybe move move back up and get somebody, wait somebody at 18. They're going to draft a corner. But uh, don't forget, the other guy that went, he went ahead of, A.J. Terrell, was way better than him in Atlanta. So, yeah, A.J. Terrell is having a better. Maybe A.J. Terrell is putting a better spot. Maybe it was bad karma. Or just bad, a bad vibe in Detroit that never was going to mix. But A.J. Terrell was better than him. Then the other kid from Jacksonville flaked out two bouncing around the league. C.J. Henderson, I think that was his name, out of Florida, just bouncing around the league as well, too. So A.J. Terrell, the three I can remember, I think that was the three that, that the first three that won the first round. A.J. Terrell's had, uh, Clemson had the, be the better, you know, better, you know, year. But we don't know where Brad Holmes places value at cornerbacks neither. We don't know where he places value at corners. Because, you know, uh, Martin Mayhew didn't believe in taking corners in the in, in early in the draft. You know, uh, he you had to pull his teeth for him to draft Darius Slay in the second round. He could have easily drafted Jonathan Banks, Darius Slay counterpart, um, you know, who was worse than him in the league. He didn't. He took Darius Slay. But he believed in waiting. Alex Carter, Bill Bentley, Aaron Berry, wait, undrafted, waiting late. And he was a defensive back in this league itself, and he didn't believe in drafting him early. So, we're going to see, but I think, like Brad Holmes says, he's the best player available. And I was a betting man. I got one or two, one or two or three theories about this. One, either he going to move up in the second round if Cam Smith or somebody else he like and try to get him in the second. Two, I think they either going to take a corner at number six. If they're, if Jalen Brown, Jalen Carter and and um, Jalen Brown, excuse me, Jalen Carter and uh, the other kid is gone, uh, uh, Will Anderson. Or they're going to move back from six, gain some capital, and, and take a corner. Or they're going to move up from 18 and move back in the first round, from the, back in the first round the third time and, and get something. So, and get something done. And don't be surprised if DeAndre Swift don't get shipped out of here neither. So, don't be surprised if he don't get shipped out of here by the draft or on the draft neither. That's just me assuming. But I think they're going to end up drafting a corner, either moving back in the first round, moving up from 18. Moving down from six, staying at six, or waiting to the second round and moving up in the second round, getting somebody they like. So I think a corner should go on day one or day two for sure. So I think that's going to be the corner they dub their number one overall corner. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up to the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, we drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app dollar sign CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, or well, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Link Tree the first link in the description. Peace.